Welcome back everyone, H by HQ Flex here. Today guys bring you some more information and screenshots regarding the new Battlefield 1. As you can see here, uh, it looks like we won't be able to use Nova Gas, I'm assuming it's going to be called, or just gas grenades, uh, to choke out the enemy. And as you can see from the top left, uh, just like a temple, and somehow someone's waiting the, the support beams. And it's just came shattering down, so it looks like destruction is definitely going to be playing uh, a huge key part in this new Battlefield game. As you can see, um, for the gas grenades to counter it, you're going to have a gas mask. So that's, I'm assuming they're going to probably put down one of the class loadouts uh, in the equipment section. So the way you had in Battlefield 3 and 4, you had medics, you had uh, ammo boxes. So I'm assuming that's where the gas mask is probably going to be located at or maybe you're going to have to pick it up somewhere to use it i'm not too entirely sure and uh, as you can see from the next screenshot you're going to see a big massive blue or green uh like floating thing and these are actually capture points from air superiority from battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 as you can see here this looks very very familiar from battlefield 4 uh this is the capture point where you played air to pure RA with helicopters and jets. So maybe that's them saying for the trailer, hey, air to pure RA is coming back in Battlefield 1, which is pretty cool. cool. And I only noticed that recently. I think it says here, it says make your own mark in the battlefield with earth shattering destruction, whether you're blasting craters in the ground with artillery strikes or ripping apart walls with gunfire. So as you can hear, the air's artillery uh, is basically like you mark a location and like I'm guessing like piles of bombs that just hit that location so they had that in Battlefield Bad Company 2 where you had air artillery and uh, basically blast piles of blast stuff came out of tanks it was very effective but uh, very overpowered so it'll be pretty interesting how they balance that out um, as you can see here here is the cover art for uh, the deluxe edition um this is when you pre-order it when you get like you get it on the 18th of october instead of the 21st and this that is the cover art for that it will be roughly around 60 pound 55 pounds uk and if you're in the if you're in U, the us it's probably going to cost you around like 70 to 80 dollars and uh you get a couple of battle packs uh some camos and uh, a lot of other good stuff, but you're mainly, you're mainly just pre-ordering it just to get it early. And this is for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, so everyone can pre-order it. It's not just Xbox One. PS4 and PC members can get it too. And this is the standard edition, just for to pre-order it, which you just get the game itself. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, really really appreciate it. Let's aim for at least 6 likes for the start of the week. And let's try to hit over at least 200 subscribers before the 15th of May. I really would appreciate it guys. And uh, thank you very much for just supporting me throughout the last week. And I uh, can't wait to see what this week holds for us. But until next time guys, everyone take care and God bless.